Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we're in the open super late models here at Port Royal We got a fully maxed out field here of 26 It's the max you could have in one field without it splitting so it's gonna be absolutely crazy We're car number nine ran an okay time in practice here. So hopefully we can back that up with a qualifying time uh, The top is already slicked off to start with which is interesting. So hopefully we could run the bottom pretty decent I like running the bottom at track. So hopefully we could do all right here but try and run the top in three and four, get somewhat of speed. Probably should have restarted from smacking the wall, but you know, we're fine. I'm not too worried about it. I got tight turn one, that's not a good sign. Thought I can get that thing to rotate with some more throttle, that did not work. We'll see what we can do though. See if we can get a better run here off three and four instead of trying to go high with the slickness. Better entry into turn one. Three, our first lap is definitely not going to be our time unless I smack the wall. Which I really hope we don't because there's a big field here and I do not want to qualify too deep into it. That was a much better second lap. Hopefully it's in the 17s. 18-1. Not very good, but everybody's time slowed down a little bit. Gavin got an 18-0, so not too far behind him. We're ninth currently. He's in fifth, so hopefully we could stay somewhat around that area. And we don't fall back too far, but Port Royal, massive field, maxed out field here. It's going to be a long one with a consolation and everything, so hopefully you guys are strapped in. We got 50 laps of the feature, but we got a couple heat races to go first. All right, heat one is rolling around right now. Tolson got the pole here. We qualified 12th overall, so we're sixth in heat number two. Gavin's in the heat with us as well. So he's uh, starting third, I think. I think he qualified sixth overall, but should be interesting with a full field. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Seventh place, which I believe this is a seven car on the inside, Elijah. He is going to be in the cutoff spot to start with which is going to be around where we're starting. We're going to be starting on the outside where this 31 is pretty much. So I'm interested to see around where these guys are running just to see what happens in the race to them. Tolson's off. 31 actually had a really good jump. The one car back here had a bad jump, so it stacked up the bottom lane from there back. But top five got pretty uh, single filed out pretty quick. The 31's already making moves past the 11 up there. But I'm interested to watch this battle for the uh, transfer spot because top seven make it. Everybody's looking really tight. One's up in the wall up top. Who's in seventh at the line? Is he in seventh? He's in eighth. So the 21 car right here is in seventh. Getting tapped by the, what is that, 23 or 22 that is? They're running right along that bottom. 51's trying to rip the top. Oh, the one car that was green. Number one car up there. About smashed the wall off a of turn four. Hey, that was close. He got super tight or something there. Something looks wrong. That's very really odd. But I think the 22 car. Oh, the one car is up in the wall. It looked like he got tight again off the, off the exit. He is done for in this heat for race for sure. I think the 22 car here, Jackson, is in seventh place, it looks like. Yeah, he's so currently in seventh, so he's in the transfer spot. The 31 is trying to sell the bag run, the top hit in the wall. He's falling all the way back to sixth. He's really trying to make that top work. He's just kind of like bouncing off the wall. I don't plan on really running up there much at all because I do not want to be smashing that wall over and over. This The top here is already hard enough to run to me. And I don't want to be just struggling up there the entire time. Oh, and he's getting passed by the 51 on the inside. Now he's trying to go back down to the bottom. It's three wide battle for the transfer. I think it's sixth, seventh, and eighth all right here. How many laps are left? They only got a couple laps left. The 51 was in sixth. The 22 is in seventh. The 31 in eighth. Really tight battle here for the transfer. 31 was all the way up in like fourth in the beginning of this. I don't know what he did. I think he just started running the top and hitting the wall or something having problems up there I think he barely squeezed by for seventh yeah barely seventh at the line that time by he gets tight 22 is back in seventh here the seven car is slowly creeping up into pitcher I really just want to run the the middle to bottom that's it 22 is stuck in the wall a little bit they're on the final lap here with the transfer spot on the line. Oh, one card's up in the wall, destroyed. Well, that's that's going to be a spot because they're in fourth. I think, uh, I think he started in second there on the grid, killed himself there in one and two, and all these guys are going to make it into the feature now because 
he sold the bag and he is running him over oh my goodness what is going on <laughs> holy crap that is so unnecessary but our time for heat number two let's see if uh, we could transfer here all right our heat race is getting ready to roll off we're on cfm sets if you want to try them out link in the description code hre for 10 percent off if you want to try them we're starting straight behind Caden Honeycutt here, who's been a pro on both dirt and the oval side, and also has ran in the NASCAR Truck Series and NASCAR Xfinity Series in real life. So it's awesome seeing him in these lobbies, racing against him, because he is uh, damn good. That's all I got to say. In front of R, he is uh, Connor, car number one, very fast. One of our teammates. So hopefully uh, we could run all right here and uh transfer with uh no big issue hopefully i want to just try to run the middle for the most part i don't really want to move up into this top lane it seems like a lot of people are having trouble up here and you hit the wall off a of turn four you're definitely going to destroy your car or off turn two it seems like as well because i think last time we ran here i barely hit this wall not with much force at all or it might have been it might have been actually i think it was in the uh supers i think it was in the fix though not the open but uh, I remember barely hitting it and then losing my right front immediately. Like, it was dumb. So you got to be careful that front wall being concrete will destroy your car. And then I've seen other people just tap it and lose their whole spoiler as well. So got to be very careful up there. But good luck to people. We got Gavin right there in the sixth car in front of us on the inside. So he's in a good spot to start this race. We're on the out, like not on the outskirts, we're on the edge to say the least, but hopefully we can have a pretty good start here. The 18 car on the inside did not get a very good jump. We're going to be single fire. We're going to be in fifth, though. I will take that. Try and get this thing to stop being so sideways on me. I decided to try to run the feature set rather than the heat set because I ran the feature in practice by accident. And I ran a better time, honestly, and with this track being slicker, I felt like I was uh, a little bit more comfortable in the feature set than I was in the, the heat sets. Trying not to pinch him down too hard. So it might have been a bad choice on my part, honestly, picking that set. Could have been a misjudgment on my part but it is what it is i'll live with it because this is definitely meant for a longer run for these tires to heat up and stuff and get better on the run not for a short little sprint we're still in sixth so we're not in the worst position still we're running all right because i just didn't feel super comfortable in the the qualifying honestly so i wanted to go with this set rather than the one I ran in the qualifying. So I just feel a little bit more comfortable. I can get this car rotated easier. I'd rather have a little bit looser of a car than a tight one. Somebody's smashing that wall up there. There's a yellow one up there. We got a battle here for the fifth spot. Trying not to hook them in the rear because these cars are so sensitive. You barely tap somebody in the rear. Uh, it's going to probably spin them out if you get them in the right rear. Just wrong. But we're running all right. We're not running that far off the leader, honestly. I feel like these tires are just starting to feel a little good compared to the heat set tires because people are starting to fall off a little bit. I'm tapping that wall a little bit. That's not the best. Messed up uh, going into that corner by clipping the wall, but we're in sixth. We're in a transfer spot. I just got to not screw up this final corner, and we're good to go. So we're going to be starting 12th in the feature, which I'll take where we qualified at. We're car number nine. I'm hoping we can move forward a little bit in the uh, feature race, but hey, we made it, and that's all that matters. We're in the show, so I'm happy about that. Good run by Gavin. He fell back to fourth, but uh, Honeycutt ended up getting all the way up to second, so great run by him. But there's a consolation race, and this is a max field, so eight people are going to be going home. I'll watch the, the craziness that happens in this, because there are 12 people. How many people are actually still here? Everybody is, so that's actually shocking. But uh, eight people are going home. Only top four are making it, so it's going to be a crazy one, and uh, we'll see how this goes, and I'll see you guys for the feature race.
And we're getting ready to roll off here in the feature. Back in 12th, the Constellation had a bunch of drama in it. There was wrecking going on everywhere. It was ridiculous, but it was uh, quite funny at the same time. I'm happy I wasn't a part of it because that was a shit show nonetheless. But uh, it's weird. The number four car, Ethan Toder, uh, who has a sweet looking Dale Jr. car. Um, are we like waiting on the person? I, I'm not sure what's going on with him. But... Uh, he didn't even start up in the heat race or anything, and he was the back of the the consolation there and never gridded up for it. So I don't know what happened with him. I don't know if he was just AFK or what happened there. That was weird. But not sure what happened there with the start. I don't. I think that guy's coming back up. I'm just gonna try and stay low, try and stay out the way because I think he's coming to get his spot back now. But luckily, these these uh, laps are very long. So that could uh, work all right, but that was a uh, very jumbled up. That that person starting six, that was probably Trey then. Yeah, that's sixth place. So yeah, Trey was like AFK at the beginning. Of that that was weird, but we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, we can go pretty green in this one. That would be nice. But the way the consolation looked, it was not promising. And I'm not sure how most of the heat races went, like towards the back. But uh, my heat race was pretty clean around me, at least. But we'll see how this goes. 50 laps is going to be a long time if we get a bunch of cautions. That's all I got to say. Because these these caution laps take a while. And they don't count either. Oop, I got a little loose getting on throttle there. Try and run like middle top-ish. To start it off. Because we're up here trying not to come down the guys under us. Getting down behind the 22 down here. May not have been the smartest thing. I'm barely on throttle. Jesus. Luckily, we didn't run him over. He is super loose right now. Slow up for this corner so we don't slide up very much. We're three wide, I guess. We're two wide now. That was a mess. He was like super loose into that corner. Oh, geez, we're three wide. That 31's trying to put it way too tight, three wide. We're getting pinched all the way down. I'm just holding this car as straight as we can down here because if I get any sort of sideways, we're just moving the 22 up the track. And he's just cutting down the track. Cool. Okay. So that's how we're racing in this one. Fun. That sounds interesting to me. But most people are just holding the bottom right now. Sorry, 31. Barely topped them, but didn't mean to get into them. Slid up a little too much there because I didn't hold it all the way down and just like gotten that slickness and slid up. It's hard to hold it straight on the bottom, honestly. Especially in one and two. I feel like one and two, it's so much harder. There's a lot more slick down there to keep it on the bottom. So I'm trying to get the car just angled enough through the corner like that to get like a decent run on the exit. Oh, somebody blinked right there. I was scary. Three and four, there's a lot more grip on the bottom, I should say. Oh, got a little too sideways there. Try not to get up in the lane where he's just rolling in. They don't want to get ran over on the straightaway. Yeah, I saw him get into my outside the 21 car. He had a really good runoff turn, too. I got way too sideways. That middle lane's definitely rolling a little bit better now. We're three wide for sure. I'm tired. I'm going Trey. I think Trey is that yellow one. He's been ripping the top, I believe. Yeah, very scary stuff. So we are definitely saving some tires down on the bottom early, but it's not necessarily the biggest deal. So I feel like even if I save tires, there's a lot of guys that are faster than me saving tires going faster. So. Oh, it's a 51, not a 21. I'm an idiot. I saw it in the mirror and thought it was a 21. Not a problem. Trying to see if we can get back around. We had a good run through the middle in three and four last time by. Seems like the middle is the way to go. And try to get like a little bit of a cut down. Try to get the car straight. Definitely do not want to smack the wall in the front stretch. That thing will screw up your car very badly. 
But Port Royal, not uh, a fan favorite, I'll tell you. I'd much rather have Williams Grove on the uh, schedule. I love Williams Grove. Like, the uh, four tens go there this week. I'm super excited to try to run that. I'm hoping we can get a, a lobby populated enough to run that. That is my hope and goal, at least. 51's moving up where the 22's making up some ground now. Ooh. I was expecting him to kind of go higher and then the 21 shot down low so it kind of like slowed up a lot of people there. If the 51 checked up, I checked up to not try to run over the 51. 21's trying to roll the bottom. We're going to get to his outside. Trying not to like fully mash the throttle down the straights just so we don't spend too much tire on the straightaway. Trying to like gradually roll into it. Especially on the exit of the corner, I'm trying not to spin tire too much because these long straightaways, you can lose so much speed down. That was our fastest lap of the race so far. Starting to move on up a little bit and then roll into that throttle pretty good. He's going to go pinch him down. Oh, what a roll we had on top. Oh, that got super tight on the exit. That was terrifying. I think those bumps really screwed me up. I had such a good run up there in three and four. That was crazy. That was a crazy run that we had. I don't know if he was expecting us to run way up top or something there, but I was trying to roll middle. He was trying to slide up. I smacked the wall there, so that killed my momentum. I was trying to keep it kind of straight there. And I just gassed it up a little bit too much up there and got the slickness and uh, wanted to go around. Like, it started off slick right where we're running right there, but there's a lot of uh, marbles that moved on up with the everybody running lower, so it's kind of a little grippy there. It's interesting. And I'm not right, good right up on the wall and stuff here, so it's very sketchy. Like, we had that one really good run up top in three and four, and then it got tight and scared me. So I'm trying to roll this, like, higher middle lane for the most part. One got stuck on the bottom. We got by him. We got all the way to the top on that one. It gets so banked on the very top, it's crazy. It's crazy how banked it is up there. Oop, they're getting together a little bit, but they keep it straight, we're good. Gavin's only a few cars up from us. Ooh, 18 got the wall hard. Gotta check up a little bit. Luckily, they didn't hit the guy underneath us. I'm all over the place in the straightaway. It is terrifying. Oh, yeah, there's a car above you. I'm like right up on the wall trying not to hit it. Dang it, got it on the exit. Try not to do that because that will really hurt your car. I don't think we're too damaged at all. I think we're fine. Guy, there's a car up here. Like, it didn't say any contact with the wall or car, but it fell it in the wheel, us getting pushed up there. So that was uh, a little bad. Where are we at? 11th? That's not terrible. For us being car number nine, if we could finish top 10, I'll be happy. Because Port Royal is a very, very hard track to run. It's so, like somewhat single file lane like it starts out low and then moves up high and all that oh gavin getting pinched down to the bottom i don't know if the guy was mirror driving him or what didn't quite see what happened there oh that's a lap car elijah he might he might have gotten some damage earlier or something not sure what happened i wonder if gavin tried to just go low on him maybe he was running high before that and he just happened to switch lanes then Oh geez, trying not to hit the wall too hard like that. I'm shocked we've gone green over half this race. That's kind of crazy. That's awesome. Oh damn, he had a good run there. 
Like he was running right on that outside wall. That is definitely the fastest lane if you could run it correctly. That was actually a pretty good one. We tapped the wall, but like kind of perfect. That time I got in a little too tight. But you really don't want to be too sideways in the corner. He's not fully sliding us. We're good. He didn't have the room to fully slide up. Because I was like ready to try to cut down, but he didn't have the room to fully send it. This is absolutely crazy on how top you have to run it. See, that is fine right there. Tapping it like that, completely fine. Don't tap it on the straightaway, though, right before you get into the corner, because that screws up your corner. I had to hit the brake a little bit to get it in there. They didn't even get a car contact with that wall. That's how, that's how good that wall tap was. But that's what you got to do at this track. You got to learn to, to hit the wall just right, which I am not good at. Especially in three and four, there's two openings that are terrifying. Yeah, the 18's hit it pretty hard in front of us too, and nothing's screwed up on his car. So I'm hoping nothing's screwed up on ours as well. I went in a little lower there, trying to see if we can make up some time. We, it looks like we did. Like a small slider line up to the top. Well, that's not where I wanted to go. I hit the wall a little hard there. I'm gonna try and ask for a report. Oh, I have damage on the right side. That's probably just quarter panel damage, if anything. I don't necessarily think that's uh, spoiler damage because spoiler damage, we would just fall off like a rock. And I feel like it'd be worse hitting it on the front stretch or like three and four, really. The dirt looks so weird, like slicked off in three and four here for some reason. I don't know why. Like it looks so pixelated at this track in three and four for some reason. It's so weird. I don't like it. Let's see if we can do this small slider up to this top line. Kind of hit the wall a little hard though. Guy behind me is just ripping the top really well right now. 51 got the wall really hard up there. We're catching this 18 slow and steady right now. Gavin's going for a slider. The 18 decided to run a low line. That actually worked out a little bit for him. That was a really good one and two. Get off the race. Oh, somebody broken. Oh, it's Elijah again. I thought it was a car that was like fully broken or something because I saw some uh, debris on the track. Crazy, you gotta have your boy bring out a yellow. I understand. Bro, I'm just trying to get off the race track. <laughs> It seems like something happened to him from the very beginning. Oh, somebody lost the wheel for sure. And they do get off the track. That was Elijah, it looks like. Kind of want to try this middle lane in three and four, because it really worked out for the 18 when he ran it right, I think. That is not the right way to run it, though. Yeah, he lost her spoiler. Oh, somebody lost their spoiler? Was it somebody in front of us by any chance? I don't think it was. Number 10 car, your spoiler just went flying off the race car. Oh, yikes. Maybe it was somebody in front of us. It is somebody, It is a car up there. I'm not sure if they're a lap down or not. But he's just going to fall off pace so hard. Ooh. So sketchy hitting that wall. Because that guy that lost his spoiler up there, he is falling off pace very quickly. He's super loose. Just has no speed down the straightaways. But yeah, it definitely was somebody for a position at least, so we can get up into the top 10 with that. He's going down low. Trying to see if I can do anything else to get by this 18. 
trying not to hit the wall too hard so we don't lose our spoiler as well. But I wonder if that 10 car hit it on the front stretch or what happened to him. Yeah, you, you, we just fly by him on the straight. Oh, 18's in the wall. I was trying to avoid him. Luckily, we didn't get ran over because 10 car was in the wall. Getting some good speed in the corner there. I'm shocked this has gone this green. Like, this is crazy. And we have less than 10 laps to go, so everything's single file restarts from here on out. That was a pretty good top. Ah, uh, he kind of blocked it. He didn't go fully top. I was hoping he would. I was going to try and throw the slider there, but didn't want to wreck both of us. I feel like I had a good run there off of turn two on him. It would have been a decent opportunity. Because he kind of went in like kind of a little middle, not like fully middle, a little at like the middle top. Or kind of like that because he was throwing like a little slider up to the top. That was a really good run. Eh, don't fully throw it. I wasn't going to clear it. I didn't uh, do a good enough angle there to try and throw a slider. feel like we're a little faster than the 18. It's just I cannot get that slider to stick. And now we got a lap car on the bottom, but luckily he's out of the way. Guy behind me decided to try to run bottom. I don't know if uh, he's stuck down there or if he got by the lap car. He got by him. I got a little tight on entry, but that was a pretty good three and four. But the car on my inside is ripping that inside. I was like fishtailing it so bad. Oh, damn it. That's the wall hard. He got us there. I'm trying not to get into his right rear. Do I think I have a loose wheel? Oh, no, that's not good. We only got two more laps. Come on, we can finish this. I did smash that wall pretty hard in one and two. My right monitor like flicked off and then back on and that's why I hit the damn wall because I didn't see it anymore. It messed me up a lot there, but it's my own fault. Oh, these two are racing really hard. And we got 12th place right behind us. Good one. Leaders were not too far behind either. He's going to try and like throw a slider, so I'm just going to protect it. And we're going to finish 11th. I will take that. Oh, massive pile up in turn one. Don't know why everybody came to a stop there. Jesus, that was terrifying. But hey, we get 11th, a completely cautionless race. I'm shocked by that. Gavin ends up getting seventh out of it. Good run by him. Uh, I'll take that. We got up to 10th and then... We didn't really have too much damage on the car at the end there, it looks like. Uh, did my right front look kind of damaged from that uh, one hit? Maybe not too bad. I don't know what my uh, spotter was saying, but maybe it was like pushed in some. Not 100% sure, but yeah, that was a absolute crazy intense race. Just so much focus needing to uh, go on there. But there'll be a few hits here and there, I think, but no cautions or you're only going to see like wall hits, some people tapping like that. Because it was super tight racing off the beginning. The 31 trying to slip in between the uh, 22 and I. But I was getting pinched down hard, like you can see by the 22 there. Like, I'm trying not to get any sort of sideways to punt him up the track. Because he wants to run the bottom, but there's a car under him. Uh, 75, he was ripping the top from the beginning. And uh, where did he end up finishing? They said he was going to blow off his tires. Did he end up winning it? No, he ended up getting third. How far back was he? He was uh, four seconds from the leader. Connor, Connor ended up winning it. Hayden got second. They started 1-2, so they finished 1-2, but just in reverse. He blinked a little. 18. This was not too far in front of us. He blinked a little. Seven car. Is this what happened to him? Did he like just... Was he just like on the wrong thing or something? Oh, he lost his uh, front nose just from that little tap. That sucks a lot. But yeah, Trey is just ripping this top early and he's probably going to go get the lead or something and then he falls off with the tires because, yeah, he goes for the cross over there, goes and gets the lead. Was he the leader at the line? He was not that time by, but I imagine he led some laps, but might have just blown his tires off running that top too much. Eight car gets that inside wall super hard, turned in way too early. This was not too far in front of us, I think. The 18 and the... Uh, 31 yeah gavin was right there for that oh that got super tight good job not running into him though 
38. This was behind us. 38 in the red car. I'm not sure who that was. I didn't see the number at all. I think I get the wall here some. Yeah, I got the wall on this straight away. I was so mad about that. I thought that might have hurt our uh, spoiler, honestly, but it didn't. Luckily, we didn't hurt our spoiler at all here because that will absolutely kill your speed. I'm interested to see how the uh, 31 lost his spoiler. I'm wondering where he hit the wall at to do so. Eight cars just backing it into the wall every time. Yeah, Trey definitely had the lead by a good bit here. Oh, just wall on the wall right there. Oh yeah, he has a, like a half a straightaway on Connor, which is absolutely nuts. He must have just killed his tires in this race. That is nuts on uh, how far out he got. And then he, they all just reeled him back in because it looked like he just ripped top for 50 laps, which is absolutely nuts. But yeah, he's just wall hitting it. Ooh, what happened here? Big uh, moment between all these guys. So I imagine he's already gone a lap down. Yeah, he's a, a lapped car and the 38 just doesn't want to realize there's a car on the inside. He's trying to get by a lapped car, but yeah, there's still a car there. I don't know what you wanted the uh, the red one to do, honestly. <laughs> there was nothing that else that he could have done. He was just there. The 11, this is right behind us, right, almost right into the 21, barely tapped him. I'm just skipping all of uh, trays because he's just smacking the wall everywhere. That's how you run the top. 91 is the car. This one is the red one. Oh, he lost a spoiler. It came back, though. He got a little lucky there. He's going to smack it here on the exit, though. On the straightaway? Yep, just lost a spoiler. That's how easy it is to lose your spoiler here. He just tail slapped the wall on the front stretch just a little bit too much. And uh, that happened. I'm interested to see right here is where he lost his right front. Yep, and that's about lap 34. He went around the entire track. Uh on the bottom safely somehow and got in the pit lane good on him oh this is not the uh 31 i thought 31 was behind me but this was the uh, 21 number seven on i racing number that was catching us but i honestly thought he was gonna bring out a caution it's shocking that he didn't but uh that was crazy 31 this is probably where he lost his spoiler yep just got into the wall a little too much and spoiler came off fully and he fell so far back where did he end up finishing he ended up finishing all the way back in 15th a lap down which is crazy like that spoiler just kills your speed overall completely these two behind me hitting decently 21 up into the 11 somehow the, the 11 really saved his tires which is crazy because uh he was flying back up to me did he end up passing the guy in front of me no, he ended up finishing right in front of me, but I thought he got it by that guy. I, can't, I could not remember. But we were running really well. I was happy with that. 11 car kind of getting uh, revenge back on the 21, honestly, uh, for what happened like a lap or two before that, which is kind of crazy. He's just going to smack the wall some more, just perfectly, just scraping it along like these guys know how to do it so well. I can't. I cannot hear. If I hit the wall, I'm doing that, and it's just killing my car every time. Uh, 22 here getting tight. Yep. That's what I would do. Just bounce off. It's kind of what we did uh, starting our qualifying lap, which is funny. Connor just smacking it. Oh, Trey hitting that thing hard with five laps to go. And now Tolson is uh, fighting with him. Really tight slider. If he did not get in that wall, I don't know if that would have been clear. There actually might have been a caution for them, to be fair. So that's absolutely crazy. What else happened? 31 just all over the place with no spoiler. That is so hard to control. It's like not even funny on how difficult that is. And then uh, that's Connor coming around for the win uh, next lap. Trying to see what caused the massive pile up in turn one after the start finish line. I don't know what the hell happened. That's the, the finish. And then all these guys just started coming to a stop. Like for what, what reason did you guys want to just hit the brakes? It started with the 31 there and then that spun him around. And then everybody else just starts piling in because we're all still full speed because the, the start finish line is really late on the straightaway so yeah somehow we we escaped i think with a zero x yeah a zero x out of that race with no cautions absolutely crazy i'll take 11th place we might lose a little bit of i rating but it's not gonna be that bad overall had a fun race i'm happy with how it went so let's go see what we end up getting out of the results and we only lost 17 out of that not that bad honeycutt ends up finishing fourth out of that as car two still gained some gavin pride gained some he only gained three he was car number six but it wasn't a super high strength to feel 4300 but it was only a single split and the uh the number four car never even uh made any laps into it and he's over a 7k he lost a bunch 
even not making the main, which I know sometimes, like even this this guy that didn't make it, trying to wreck people out the to make it, and Spencer didn't make it, and the twenty five card didn't make it, all gained die rating somehow. That's what makes no sense. Like the card number fourteen technically finishing nineteenth shouldn't gain I rating to me. It doesn't ever make sense. I hate that stuff. Like the constellation things always screw up I rating gains and losses in my opinion. That's why I stopped doing the uh, four ten tour races because it would never make any sense with the I rating gains and loss. Like if if they had it down pat to where it made sense i would like to run those more but they just don't make any sense if you make the main you have you should not lose as much as if you would have been the first car out in the constellation you still should lose if you were a lower car number in the constellation but you shouldn't gain any not making the feature regardless that's my opinion but a uh, little rant but uh, yeah we lose 17 i'm not mad about that we had a solid race no cautions for that it is absolutely crazy that's a shocker in itself and uh, I'm happy to get out there with the 0x. Gavin had a 0x. A lot of guys actually had a 0x in that whole thing. Even a lot of the guys just tapping the wall. They just know how to do it so well. They uh, aren't going to get the uh, x's a lot of times. So either way, fun race. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Appreciate you guys for watching as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.